you take the force vector f and then you do a cross product so that's the vector definition of a moment now actually this definition here and this are not different they're really same and the way you can see that that they are same is let's say if I extend this and let's say this angle here is theta then this angle is also the same and you drop a perpendicular from here on the force direction so this angle is 90 then this distance here is taken as D it's the exact same diagram as, we, as I drew before now <coughs> this by definition will be the length R force magnitude angle between those two and a unit vector and that's the definition of the cross product so <coughs> this could be arranged as R sine theta times the force and the unit vector that this is defined by right hand thumb rule so <coughs> let's look at this part here which is R sine theta if I go back to the triangle here you can see that D over R this over this is sine theta so <coughs> this equation is simply D times F and multiplied by the unit vector N whose direction is given by the right hand thumb rule So this part is magnitude for the MO, which is exactly the same as here. So even though you're using the vector products, your <coughs> actual magnitude for the vector is the same. It's still as a force times the perpendicular distance between the force and the point. So <coughs> And this vector here will be same. You go R cross F, and that thumb is going to point towards the direction. So somewhere here, you're going to have the M O vector. And to distinguish this from the force, you place an arrow around this. So we do make distinction between the force vectors and the moment vectors. The force are just plain arrows like F and the moments are arrows but then you put a rotational arrow around the force arrow. So anytime when you see an extra arrow around the arrow itself then that's the distinction between the force as well as the moment vector. Another thing you'll notice is that M O the magnitude is F times D so its units will be Newton meter I mean the force times the length if you're in SI unit or pound feet if you're in the FTS unit or pound inch so <coughs> your actual unit is going to be the force unit multiplied by the length unit now <coughs> this is not the only way of doing it I mean I could choose another point let's say I could choose a point here and I call that as B and I'm assuming that I know the coordinates of point B which means I will know XB, YB and CB so that's known so the same 
moment vector could be written as a vector going from here to here. Let's call this as R1. Then MO could also be position vector R1 multiplied by uh, force F. So, it's the exact same moment vector as you'll get from R cross F. So, uh, in here, it's the same equation. I mean, if you look at this, it's going to be R1 F sine theta 1, the angle between those two, times the exact same unit vector as before. So, <coughs> The angle here, this angle you're looking at is theta 1. And then D over R1 is sine theta 1, or D becomes R1 sine theta 1. 